Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing how I decorated and styled my home for fall. These types of videos are always a favorite of mine because I love redecorating and restyling new things for the season. We also have more fall content coming, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any new videos. Also, if you have not yet found me on Instagram, head on over and find me at Valerie Aguirre, where I share a lot of behind the scenes and fun stuff there too. And without further ado, grab a warm cup of chai or pumpkin spice anything and let's get into the video. So before I bring out all my fall decor, I wanted to rearrange the furniture and kind of give it a new feel. I also got a new chair from the Crate and Barrel Warehouse. I got it at a really great price. So I snagged this chair and I'm actually on the hunt for another one just like it. So I have one for now and I am still currently looking for another one to make a perfect pair. So so when redecorating or restyling a space, I kind of like to start out with near to nothing. I do really like the rug that we have in here. So that is going to stay. For now, I just set a little side table and a lamp there to kind of balance that chair out until I can find its matching partner. Another thing I like to do to kind of refresh the space is taking the couch covers off of the cushions and giving them a good wash, hang drying them. And then I use this little kind of fabric defuzzer. I found this on Amazon and every couple months I will take this guy out and use it on my couch cushions. It really helps get all of those little fuzzies off, especially if you keep up on it. I feel like it really makes a difference in making that space feel a little bit newer and refreshed. So these warmer toned pillows are actually from the Studio McGee fall collection. So I'm going to keep those on there. I really like those. And then this little bluish grayish one is an Amazon find. I will link that below. And then this little lumbar is from a little online store called Coterie. I will link that below as well. I like to stick to a lot of neutrals in my home. If you guys are new here, just know that. I don't use a ton of color, little pops here and there, but mostly everything is very neutral. And I do that just because I like to change things around a lot. And so when you have a lot of neutral pieces, you can kind of place them and put them anywhere. It definitely makes things easier when you like a lot of change and like to shuffle things around. I did find a new blanket this fall that I am kind of obsessed with. I found this at Tuesday morning and it's kind of one of those Teddy style blankets. I love this warmer brown tone and it's just so comfy and cozy. I love this texture, really, really pretty, especially for the fall season. So I am going to put this kind of boucle style blanket on my new chair. An added bonus is it kind of protects a little bit of my chair from getting dirty. So that's always a plus. If you guys are interested, I will link this chair below. It is the Gwyneth Boucle chair from CB2 and it is so good. I do tend to lean more towards a very minimal style. So for the coffee table, I am just going to put a couple of coffee table books. This is one of my favorite ones. I share it all the time. Some brass links I found at TJ Maxx. And then this is a DIY base that I did several months back with just some mortar and some paint. And I'm just going to put some red eucalyptus. This is the silver dollar eucalyptus. And the good thing is it is preserved. So I can leave this on on my coffee table all season long and it smells so good. I'm also going to add this basket. It has a really unique shape. I love that it's a longer basket. You don't see those very often, but I found this at a thrift store. I think it was about four or five dollars. So I was so excited about that. So while I was at the little pumpkin patch or fruit stand, I found these really neat, I think they're gourds or some sort of pumpkin, but I love that kind of dark, dark green. It almost looks black. It is so neat. I have never seen those. So I was really excited to come across those. Does anybody else just love all of the colors of fall? It is so pretty to see all these pumpkins together. So I picked up a bunch of these white ones too. So if you are a little bit more budget conscious, you can just snag one or two of these from the store and it still makes that seasonal pop for near to nothing. I actually picked up a few different options. So I'm going to take these 
little blackish greenish gourds and then fill this basket with a couple smaller miniature pumpkins. These are just in different shades of this ivory color. And then I grabbed some of these little warty guys that are kind of fun too. So I'm just going to arrange them in this basket and call it done. When the fall season is over, one of my favorite things to do with all of these leftover pumpkins is to harvest the seeds so they don't go to waste. I love taking the seeds out and then we save them for future seasons and we can plant them in our garden for next season. For this little temporary side table, I just put a very simple candle and then one of those green gourds. Very, very simple, but still seasonal and fun. So we have a very open layout in our home. So our dining table is actually right behind our living room. So I like to always put some type of centerpiece or something fun on there as well. I found these from the Studio McGee Fall line and I'm going to fill them with wheat. Wheat is one of my favorite things to decorate with because it is so natural but it just adds a lot of texture but it keeps that natural element and kind of brings the outdoors in that is one of my favorite things to do I am also very budget conscious this is actually my third year with this stock of wheat so I'm gonna grab a couple more I preserve this by just wrapping it in foil and then I will store it like on the top of the bin and it just doesn't get crinkled it stays really nice and it's something that you can use year after year and it never goes out of style. So if you want these in a shorter vase, you can always cut them down to size. I like to adjust them here and there. There are different types of wheats. They come in different colors and some different textures even. This one is always my favorite for fall. It is the black beard wheat and it has those black tips right on the top. And then for the larger vase, I'm just going to use my stock of wheat that I had put away and this one fit perfectly into that tall vase. I also found this cutie at Target this year. It is new, I believe. Very cute, I had to snag it. So this fall centerpiece is now done. It's very simple, understated, but full of texture and warm colors and screams that fall season. It is so beautiful. What would any trip to the pumpkin patch be without stopping and looking at the pies? I have the biggest sweet tooth known to man. So of course I cannot pass up a pie. My boys were so happy that I made this decision too. I love putting things like this or little baked goods in a cake stand with a little cover. I hope one day my boys will appreciate that when they're older. <laughs> Mom always had sweets waiting for us on the cake stand. So this little entry table has not changed very much other than that DIY lamp, but I have actually had this since last season and I just like it. When I still walk past it, I'm happy with it. So I'm just gonna leave everything how it is. If it makes me happy, then I'm just gonna keep it. This little floor lamp I actually intended to buy for a little DIY project and I never ended up doing the DIY project and the lamp just kind of stayed there. So it was a really good Amazon find and I will link that for you guys down below too. So in the kitchen, I like to switch out my soap bottles into these amber soap bottles. These are from Amazon as well. I like these warmer colors for fall. They just are a little bit more cozy. And then those brushes are also an Amazon find. And that fun riser that they sit on was a DIY project. I will link that for you guys as well. So some subtle changes, but still warm, cozy, and a pop of color very understated this is totally my style i love a clean look but all the warmth and coziness of fire and blankets and all of that fun seasonal stuff by bringing in these warm cozy blankets i feel like it just screams fall lots of texture this boucle linen this teddy style blanket, I feel like everything just works together and cohesive and really gives it that cozy fall vibe that we have been wanting. I love that decor. Doesn't always have to break the bank. If you get creative and really start kind of searching around and combining things, thrifting, there's so many ways that you can get that look for less. 
for me, when you have a limited budget, decorating can be kind of challenging. And that's one of my favorite things about DIY and thrifting is it really brings out your creativity and kind of forces you to think outside the box, but I feel like things look better when they're kind of collected and just unique and different. So I hope this video inspired you or helped you in any way. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. We're always so appreciative that you're here. And with that, we're going to go enjoy this pie. <laughs> Wishing you all of the blessings of a new season. We're so glad you guys are here. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any upcoming fall videos and we will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.